In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to cut a throttle cable and how to install one on a Predator or a Honda or any kind of little five horse, 10 horse, whatever engine. So I got my fingers here at the length that I need the cable uh, sheath to terminate. So what I'm gonna do now is trim the cable. So you can't just start trimming away because you got this inside piece here that moves back and forth with the cable. So you gotta pull that out. So I'm gonna pull this through now. Okay, as you can see here, I removed mine entirely. I just pulled it out of this sheath. I know that I gotta make my cut right here. So now I can cut this nicely. Next, reinstall your cable back into the sheath right there. Now I'm gonna go size it up and figure out how much travel I need in my cable here. Best way to determine the length of your throttle cable is to set your engine, your engine's throttle on minimum. So bring it all the way forward. Set your cable also to slowest speed. Then take a look at your sheath, where your sheath is gonna land and mock that up about there and take a look at where your z-bend is going to need to be mine's going to need to be right here so i'm going to mark my throttle cable right where i know the z-bend crook has to be created which is right here so i'm just going to simply take a a marking pen and i'm going to mark it just like that i'm going to show you how to make a z-bend in a throttle cable you're going to need two things try to have a pair of vice grips with a needle nose head on it. It'll make your life a lot easier. If you don't have needle nose pliers, or needle nose vice grips, then definitely just use a good set of needle nose pliers. Try not to use the cheapy ones because when you start making your bends, they'll get all kind of crooked on you. So I have my cable marked in gold. You're gonna take and clamp on your mark, nice and tight, just like that. And you're gonna go ahead and take your needle nose and you're gonna bend against the grain of the teeth. So hold it nice and tight and give her a good bend like that. 90 degrees, just like that. Then you're gonna come back and do your vice grip. So you'll have a bend like this. Come back with your vice grip and pinch right here at the bend on the other side and go ahead and bend in the opposite direction. Up. Like that. So now you should have a Z bend in your throttle cable like this. And you can straighten out your bend, but that's what you're trying to create right there. Now, go back and check it. And if everything looks good, you can trim it off right there. So I'm gonna go check mine. So coming back around to the engine, I verified my cable is the correct length and this, this would focus. You'll see that I've trimmed off the extra length of cable. So now all that's left to do is you can run it through the retainer if you want, you can go that direction, or you can just simply drop it in, I'm trying to watch the camera here, and then hook this up and over. So I'm gonna connect this real quick. So if you've done everything correctly, you will see here that the throttle cable is retained right here on the collar using this pinch method here. Then you'll see the Z-bend that we created goes into the throttle arm right here. And then it also might be worth me noting that this little bolt right here, you're gonna wanna back that off about a turn to a half a turn to get it a little bit looser than factory to allow you to operate the throttle cable more smoothly. So I'm gonna go ahead and operate the throttle cable now and you'll see that that is, uh, that's gonna be um, lowest throttle setting. So slow and that's fast. So you have full, there you go, slow and fast. The throttle cable I have has uh, three stops in it. So you can kind of see it up here. So give me the overview. Just like that. So you can also adjust 
how stiff you want the throttle to feel by uh, tightening and loosening this master nut right here. So you, sh you shouldn't have to take any of this stuff apart when you're installing your throttle cable, just some adjustments. So you're gonna be adjusting this, which is a 10 millimeter bolt, and then you're gonna be adjusting this, which is just a Phillips head. Your motor, will, your engine, I should say, will have one of these on here. You'll notice I got an old Honda clone down there and it's got the same system on it. So hope this video helped you guys out. This is how you install a throttle cable on any small engine, five horse, six and a half horse, three horse, 11 horse. They're all the same. Uh, it's all the same design. So if you have any questions or you wanna know where I got some certain things, pipe down the uh, comments below. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe and I'll get you in the next video. Later.